Well, hello, my dear church boys, and welcome to yet another episode of St. Robert's Day Game Pickup Podcast, episode 41. And in this podcast episode, I want to talk about why girls eject from sets. Mostly when you talk about ejecting, you talk about guy opening a cute chick, overcoming approach anxiety, but then in the set, he runs out of things to say and he leaves the set, he ejects. But this time I want to talk about the reasons why girls might want to leave the conversation. The reason I think this is a very good topic to talk about. Most guys, uh, whenever a girl ejects, they always think there is one reason why every girl ejects. Maybe they believe she had to go. She ejected because their game is shit. Maybe they think they're not good enough looking and she ejected because of that. Or maybe they say, I was really direct. I told her what I want and she didn't wanna meet me afterwards. Most day gamers have one favorite reason why girls eject. If you think it's the same reason or it's one or two or three, most common reasons every time there is little room for improvement. Even if you fix that one or two things that you think they are rejecting because of, there are still many other reasons girls might eject that you haven't addressed. When you understand there are different reasons for rejecting, you can start analyzing why a girl ejects each time she does you can learn your weaknesses in game and start working on them. In this podcast, I'll talk about 10 main reasons girls eject and what you can do to improve your odds in each case. As most of you know, I do these podcasts once a week, maybe once every two weeks, depending on how busy I am with my infield coaching schedule and my Skype coaching schedule. Since I don't have enough time to talk about everything I want to do, on a podcast. I share other things, other small tips or ideas I have with my mailing list or in my Telegram Day Game Church group chat. So if you don't want to miss those things, make sure you are subscribed to the mailing list. Just go to strobert.blog, that is strobert.blog, and sign up for the mailing list by filling in any of the fucking forms on the website. You will also get the link to join the group chat there. As the situation with COVID has been improving, I've been more and more busy with uh, Skype coaching and uh, I'm getting ready to go on a infield coaching trip as well. I've been coaching guys both from Europe and from North America. Uh, we've done some infield anal- anal- analysis. Uh, I will start analyzing some dates because I'm doing a date coaching with a guy from Switzerland where I listen to his date and write down what was good, what was wrong, what should he focus on. And then we get on a call and we analyze everything so he knows what to focus on for the next month. In a few weeks, I'm going to Budapest to coach a few guys. I will be coaching one guy from Malta, uh, a great guy who is really dedicated to day game and putting in a lot of time in the streets already. And if Hungary opens up for people from Canada, I might have a student from Canada there as well. So if there is anything you want to work on during the Skype call or if you are someone who is finally going out again and really putting in the time to learn day game, then you can come with us on a trip to Budapest. If you want to find out more, just shoot me an email to robert at strobert.blog and I'll send you more information. And now finally, let's get uh, down to the list. Let's start talking about all the reasons girls might eject from the sets and what you can do to improve your odds with them. Actually, now that I look at the list, it's not 10, it's 9, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe I come up with one more. And uh, I will start with a few things that might be out of your control, that there isn't much you can do in those cases. Even though you can't control much in these cases, it isn't a green light to just say, oh, yeah, I can't control much uh, in this case. Most probably it's something else, but yes, there are still a few 
reasons she might want to reject that there is nothing you can do about. And the first one is she's just not interested in meeting anyone. Maybe uh, she is in a committed relationship and is someone who doesn't cheat, be cheat. Believe it or not, there are people who are faithful and don't cheat. Uh, it's not as common as you might want to believe uh, it is, but it still happens. I believed in it more uh, when I started day gaming, but the more I day game, the more girls I meet and sleep with that have boyfriends and are in serious relationships, the less I kind of believe uh, that people are monogamous. But maybe she is, and she's just not interested in meeting anyone, and honestly, there isn't much you can do about it. And the second reason is you might not be her type. If you look like me, like if you are bearded with a shaved head, uh, ripped jeans, uh, skate shoes and a few tattoos, well she might be really mellow and just not be into guys like that. Or maybe she's uh, just a crazy BDSM chick and you're a mellow guy who works 9 to 5 job and s shit like that usually just won't work out and you won't be her type. That definitely doesn't mean you shouldn't open them. You still should open all types of girls, especially while you are learning. Whenever I feel there is not enough traffic on a street, I think about if I was coaching someone, how many sets I would have for them. Imagine you are out with a wing who is just taking their first steps. Well, how many girls would you tell him to open? And uh, that's a great way to find more sets to see that there are way more girls on the streets than you think. The better your game gets, the more calibrated you will get and you will behave a little bit different in each set. You'll be more hardcore when you have to, you will be a little bit more mellow when it's better for the set. It doesn't mean you will be fake, it just means you will have you will be able to show different sides of your real personality. The third reason she might want to reject that there is not much you can do about is if she really, really has to go. Obviously, in most cases, when she says she has to go, it's she doesn't. The easiest thing for a girl to say is that she is in a rush to, to go somewhere, and most likely she is not. Uh, but in some cases, yes, she is in a rush, she's not just saying it, but even if she is in a rush and if your open was good and if your stack spiked the right emotions and uh, kind of made her tell something about her, for, she will most likely forget where she's going and she will stay at least for a few minutes and if she does, if your game is really really good, you can still run all parts of the set in a few minutes. You can still get the attraction up, you can uh, build a tiny bit of comfort, you can do one spike and you can close within two minutes. I've had several sets like that, uh, actually many sets, and I've definitely had good results with short sets like that if they are actually in a rush and they are not just trying to eject. Okay, these three reasons were in a way things that are harder to control, but the rest ones are something you can control, something you can do stuff about. And reason number four is she doesn't feel safe. Maybe you opened in a bad place, in a bad location, or in a way that's that kind of scary. Uh, let's start with the bad location, uh, maybe it's a darker street, maybe it's a place at night where there is no one around, that's definitely a situation where a girl should feel that there are some red flags, that it's not safe. If that's what you're doing, uh, definitely don't do it anymore, uh, open in well-lit places, uh, preferably with people around if it's dark. And if you are doing that in the right places, then there is a mistake many guys are making when opening that's kind of freaky. If she is walking on a sidewalk close to the building, 
and instead of running around her uh, and opening from the front, you cut her off and kind of press her closer to the wall, closer to the building. It's very, very hard for her to leave. Uh, you've created a situation where she can't keep walking straight and she can't walk around you and that's really, really bad. Uh, she's under a lot of pressure and even if she wants to eject, it's hard for her. So don't cut her off. Don't make her move closer to the building. Run around in a circle. Make sure you're totally in front of her. And if she wants, she can walk around you and leave, especially if it's not middle of a day. The next one, reason number five, maybe your style is shit. Maybe you really look bad. Uh, and a great way to look at your style is look in the mirror and think about stereotypes. Who stereotypically looks like that? Does a high value guy look like you or does, uh, I don't know, some dude you would want to avoid on a street at night look like that? Really think about your style. Um, if you want to work on that, I've done uh, a long ish video with my stylist Anna it's available on my YouTube channel so go there and uh, I think it's called how to look like a bad boy or something like that so if you want to improve your style just check that video it will solve most of your style problems if you still can't do it on your own just shoot me an email and I will put you together with Anna and she can create a lookbook for you which she has done for many of my students she'll basically talk to you a little bit to figure out what you do uh, what your life is like, what your hobbies are like, and she will create a style for you, create a lookbook, send it to you in 10 days, and then you'll go shopping, and she will even consult you over WhatsApp for two more weeks to help figure out how to implement the lookbook in real life. And the next uh, reason, number six, this is especially important in larger cities. I definitely saw it in New York and other big uh, and busy cities. If your open is weak, if it's quiet, if she didn't really hear what you want to say, maybe she just won't bother to stop in a busy city. So weak opens, quiet opens don't work. If she didn't hear what you have to say, she's in a rush. She gets opened by people that want to talk about their religion, people that want some money, people that want to sell something. She doesn't give a fuck about you. So don't do weak, quiet opens. Okay, the next one, player wives. Uh, I'm kind of recording this podcast because of a student of mine who gets many, many blowouts. And his biggest problem is he has really bad case of player wives. When he talks to girls, He's way too playerish and they understand that the only thing he wants is to sleep with them and not in a calibrated way because when I open they know it's the same case but I it's not out in, out in open no one else knows it knows it it's kind of like a secret so if you feel that you have a cheesy player vibe and you are kind of talking too much about player stuff, about sex, dates and kissing, uh, yeah. even between the lines, yeah, that's def that definitely can be a reason why she might want to yeah, eject. So if you think having too much of player vibe is your problem, one thing you can do is have a normal conversation for the first few weeks. Don't, uh, of course you will be teasing, but you'll be teasing about normal topics, about work, about where she's from, about her hobbies. Don't, don't do the topics that I usually do, because my typical topics are partying, wild adventures, uh, drugs, uh, sex, etc. Don't do those topics. Those are, you have to be really, really calibrated to be able to play with those topics. If not, you'll just be one of the, you'll be put in a box with the British uh -huh. stag guys and you obviously understand that that kind of a vibe doesn't work too well. Reason number eight is, uh, yes, you opened good, you stacked good, you got a topic, you started teasing, it's really nice, good vibes, great energy, great emotions, and then she hooks, she asks you a question, you start you should start to have a normal kind of a conversation, but instead of that, you keep teasing and you keep being too much 
like a crazy monkey jumping around after the hook point and you're in general making other very typical mistakes in the set. Maybe you are too boring, maybe you are too playerish, maybe you are spiking too much, maybe you are too sexual, etc, etc, etc. So after hook point, chill out because it gets really weird really fast if you keep the crazy attraction vibe after the hook point. And now, the reason number nine, which is actually one of the most common reasons if your game is good, and if your day game is good and you know what you're doing and you are working on attraction when you should and then you're working on comfort when you should and spiking when you should and making her qualify when you should, actually a very, very, very common reason for a girl to eject from a set is when she doesn't know what to say. You opened, you stacked, you kind of had a topic, you teased a bit, but you didn't let it in a way where you can have a chilled out conversation or where it's easy for her to continue the conversation. In that case, she will very, very often just eject because she has no idea what to say, just as you very often don't have any idea what to say next. If you feel that's the case, then do another stack, find another topic, do another story, make sure she invests. If nothing else works, you can even ask some questions even before hook point, but that's like the last resort. And the last reason, reason number 10, I came up with one more reason while recording this podcast. She is too shy about what's going on. If girls aren't used to being open on the street, they are often very, very shy about someone approaching them, someone starting a conversation, and especially if your game is direct and you just say out, out, out front that you like the way they looked and you wanted to say hi. They'll get really, really shy, and uh, it depends on the hotness. Actually, um, the hotter girls are being open more, and they are more used to talking to guys, and they're better at talking to guys. If they are not used to open, they will actually be more awkward in the set and they will feel shyer during the set. In this case, you're, you have just one job. Just keep going. Don't worry about her being shy. Do another stack. Get another topic. Have a conversation. Find a topic she can invest something on and after a few minutes, she will open up. It's just like I've spoken on several podcasts before and on my YouTube videos about what to do if a girl doesn't open up on a date. Just keep going, find one topic you can talk about and after a while she will open up and most likely you will have a great conversation. So guys, these were the 10 most common reasons why girls eject from the sets when you open them. And as I said, the first ones are not too much in your control. She might not be interested. She, you might not be her type because you're too hardcore or too mellow. Maybe she's really in a rush. She's not just saying it. Uh, those are the ones that are harder to control. And then there are the ones that you can control. She doesn't feel safe because you opened in a bad place or you're in a bad manner. Maybe you have shitty style. You opened weak. You have too much player wipes. You kept teasing when you should have chilled out. Maybe she doesn't know what to say or is just too shy. Now, each time you get a blowout, you can look at this list and you can think, okay, what was the reason she ejected? Why did she have to go? And that's a way more practical way to look at your game and improve it. Find out the ways you can keep the sets going longer and improve your odds in each of those cases. Well, guys, that's it for today. If you're listening to this on YouTube, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're listening to this on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever else you are listening uh, this to, just go to the platform and please give me a five-star five star review for one reason. It helps this podcast to reach more people and it helps me help more guys all around the world. And if you have a wing that gets blown out too much, then send him a podcast and talk about it. Maybe you can help him find the reasons why he's getting blown out or he can help you find the reasons you're getting blown out. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Bye.